Vanessa Rock, the girl on a bike. Welcome back to the next part of the New Zealand Tour 1 Harley Davidson adventure. Hopefully you're really enjoying this video series. If you've not seen the first part, what are you doing? Go watch it now. Make sure you tick the bell, hit notifications, and let me know any questions you've got in the comments. Let's get on with the ride. another day in paradise i say paradise it hasn't been all that paradise for the last few days it's bright um because of the amount of rain and landslides and trees down and power lines but we've had an amazing adventure through it we are going to be getting back on track as of tomorrow morning so we're heading down to queensland today and that is about five hour ride so you take five hours plus the fact that there's 12 bikes some coffee shops some lunch it's gonna be a lovely full on day and the sun is shining. Woo. has pulled over and the views are incredible we've hit sort of twisty valley bottom rolling hilly kind of roads <gasps> and it's so gorgeous there's a lot of different variations in terrain here in new zealand uh, there are loads of cows and loads of sheep and i recommend eating them if you like eating animals well sourced good meat that's probably a number three, if I'm on number three for New Zealand. I'm on a swing. I was on a bike and now I'm on a swing. We stopped at, I can't describe this place. I'll just show you around because there's some really cool, unique stuff like old Texaco pumps, classics, uh, signs, swings, stuff made of wood. There's even a car up on a ramp. It's very cool. But I'm gonna go back to the swing. Hmm. So luggage girl Emma has just rocked up. It's pretty cool. So I'm at the back of the group of sweep. I've got my cardo on. Emma is in the van. She's got her cardo on. Hi. So while we're not on motorbikes together, oh, the hair is always a mess. <laughs> we have our intercoms. Pretty freaking cool. They're amazing. Although I totally left you standing there. <laughs> so we might have like hung back from the group a tiny bit to like throw the drone in the air and then I got to play catch up which I kind of managed enjoyed. pretty successfully. I enjoyed. <laughs> but poor Emma in the little van. It's, um, it's not the most sporty of vehicles. It's also heavy because it's got all of our luggage in it. Obviously, I didn't bring the kitchen sink with me. What have you got? Uh -oh, Ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll get it. Woo! What sort of ice cream is it? McBerry. It's cold. Cream. What's the other name you had for it? <laughs> it's... Sod the diet ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> brain thinks of when I see the sign but this is a lake that you have to come and see if you come on a road trip to New Zealand the color 
like full on looks photoshopped. I'm hoping you can hear me. It is crazy windy right now. Um, but wow, take a poo. Essential New Zealand stop. We are officially in heaven. We've just been doing the most insane mountain pass, twisties, big flowing grass fields and jagged mountains, but the roads are just like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, and dad promoted me to head duckling. So I was at the front of the group and I had all the little rows of Harleys behind me. And it, you know, when you feel like responsibility and you've got all these people behind, it was really cool. That was absolutely amazing. We're just having a little bit of a regroup having some water i got some bill tong snack absolutely in heaven right now in heaven new zealand you're amazing Woo! got a random stop for you here uh i think you should put it on your new zealand list i'm surrounded by bras <laughs> so literally thousands of them and they are collecting money for cancer research for breast cancer. Gary always picks the food and the restaurants and the coffee stops and the places where you go on motorcycles. It's not just about riding motorbikes. I cannot believe the banquet feast that's just been put in front of us. You can probably tell from the fact that I've just had a bit of a feast of a meal that we have made it to Queenstown. Nature, we made it out. <laughs> what an adventure. We're back on track now. So tomorrow we've got the normal Tour 1 offering and all of the uh, variations for weather and landslides are over. But Queenstown is certainly a beautiful place. It's pretty windy right now, so hopefully you can hear me tell by my hair uh, but if you're in New Zealand I would say that this place is well worth visiting we were meant to have a day off day here but it hasn't gone to plan I had booked paragliding with g-force but obviously the land size everything has changed that but there's loads of cool things that you can do so another thing on the what to do in New Zealand is come to Queenstown loads of uh, pretty epic activities like uh, going on floating bars and bungee jumping helicopter rides, paragliding, yeah. For me, I'm gonna go get myself to bed and then we'll be back on the bike tomorrow. Another day, we are getting up from Queenstown. We're going to Glenorchy today. So it's meant to be a pretty spectacular ride up along the side of a lake. We're gonna have breakfast up there and then come back down. Now, because we don't need the van to like do a little one-way trip and back, for breakfast. Emma -da, is gonna come uh, on the back of bikes. She's not gonna be with me the whole time. I have to share her with dad, like so unfair. Uh, probably because she can probably get some cool footage from his bike as well. Ah. Anyway, 
the bomb of Vanessa and Emma is looking nearly ready to go in the van. So it's time to kid up. This is the Emma seat. Perfect size. But we have got a backrest that we've taken off Dad's bike. But it's actually a pretty cool thing about the road guide and Harleys that you can take these things on and off in seconds. Two clips, no tools. If Dad can figure it out. Watch your fingers. That was one epic road. So a, another must have do in New Zealand is that road and uh, get up there, get some lunch and ride back again. And it's like just amazing road. So we're now back in Queenstown and up here, I don't know if you can really see it, this thing there is actually a gondola and the view from the very top is meant to be spectacular, which is the next thing I'm probably gonna recommend you make sure you do if you are in New Zealand. So I'm off the bike, I've got my beanie back on, sod the haters, and it's time to go up the gondola. Wellingtonia Giant Sequoia, right, I had to say that name first before I forgot it. If you're in Queenstown, it's very random, I don't know if you like wood or trees, but if you just remotely do, this tree is worth walking past. I've never seen anything quite like it. It makes me want to climb it, in all honesty. Huge. We are getting to the top of the gondola. This is the next item on the New Zealand must do because the views are spectacular. I can kind of show you whilst we're in the gondola, but it's not all that good for the plastic. So stay tuned, but I'll show you. Okay, insider knowledge. There are a few viewing points at the top of the, the gondola. What you need to do is go into the cafe, go through to the back corner of the seating area, and there's a mini viewing point right here. And this is the one you want to be looking at. So while we're up here at the lookout, it's probably worth giving you a bit of context to some things I've been telling you about. So last night we stayed in Queenstown, it's down here. This is Queenstown, based on a huge bright turquoise lake. Now this morning we got up to go for breakfast in Guanabi, which is at the far end of the lake that way. And there's an absolutely breathtakingly gorgeous, sweeping, twisty, curvy road that takes you all the way there about a 45 minute ride depending on what speed you're going but remember they are hot on speed restrictions here it goes with particularly like bags of laser bags of lasers and feed of tolerance it's only and it's going to be zero one kilometer over ticket um so we then rode back here uh we got back to the hotel which is now in green sound dropped our bikes in the car park and walked to the bottom of the gondola and obviously the bottom of the gondola is below me down here so there's all kinds of uh, activities that you can do here in Queenstown. There's even a bungee jumping platform, there's a luge, there's all kinds of things. Uh, but when you get up here, it's just worth it even to come and see the view. We're going to get a coffee and a bite to eat, then we'll be getting back on the bikes and carrying on with our ride. But 
This video is all about giving you some of the things that I think you should be doing while you're here in New Zealand. This is on it. and the lamb, obviously something that New Zealand is pretty famous for. I've got a bowl right now and I recommend it. <laughs> okay, get back on the bike and I've got a bunny! Ah! I've got the unicorn nominated for being uh, the or day yesterday, I probably shouldn't say that word, but uh, yeah, I might have lost the whole group. So, there are a unicorn. He's so cute. We're about 1700 kilometers into the road trip and I am on the beast of a road glide. So this is a big touring bike from Harley Davidson. I'm guessing a lot of you might be wondering what do I think of this bike? Now, normally I'd kind of knit in my review to this video, but because New Zealand has just so many things that I want to share and talk about, and I like talking loads, so I want to try and keep the video a little bit more concise, which means there's going to be another video with all of my thoughts about this bike, things that I like, things that I don't like, things to think about when you're trying to pick what bike you are. But anyway, check out the other video if you wanna know what I think about this bike. But for now, the rest of this video is gonna be a bit more about New Zealand, the wonders of touring. I'm here with Tour One. Let me know any questions in the comments and do make sure you hit that little bell to go tick, 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 and you'll get notifications when the other videos come out. to reveal where I am and why there's a boat next to me. So we're at Milford Sound. It's another one you gotta do if you're in NZ. Uh, this is a absolutely incredible uh, fjord system and it's a must do. Getting on this, we've got two hours, there's coffees, we've got our packed lunch and you can see already from the surroundings. Quite how spectacular it's gonna be. The Harley Takeover. This is the Harley Lounge, everybody. Anyone who dares enter will be mobbed by the Harley Davidson crew. We're literally about four minutes in, just about eating half a carrot.
Uh, it's wet out there. Emma, have you got me one? Okay, you got that. I've got a coat. I'm going back. I'm already wet now, but this is a big coat. Yeah, I'd get out there. Get out, get out, get out. We're going back. Oh my goodness. Okay, so you've got five things that I've got as tips for you if you come to Milford Sounds and go on the boat, which you should do if you come to New Zealand. So first of all, bring a charging box. You're going to take so many pictures of your phone that it's going to run out of battery. Then you're going to want to bring a picnic because it's beautiful sitting on the boat, munching away. You've then got the... <laughs> It's so beautiful. When you get on the boat, don't go up top. That's not the best view. You want to be down low and at the front and then you can get to this really quickly. When you get to the waterfalls, you want to get to the front of that fast, but make sure you grab one of their jackets because it's super wet and they are chucking this off the deck because they're going to moor us up. Go, go, go. side of the road and we're going to get to the most epic bit of Glass Lake. Okay the road from Milford Sounds is pretty spectacular and I'm not telling you road names because if you look at a map of New Zealand and take some of the town names and places that I'm telling you look at a map you'll know which road to be on because there aren't many roads here in New Zealand so you can figure it out. Now the, the road has loads of places to stop, lookout places, scenic places, so you can make a really nice full day of going over there, doing the boat trip, coming back. But one that I do think is pretty spectacular to come and look at is the Mirror Lakes, which is where we are right now. Beautiful crystal clear waters, you've got this lovely, ah, it's just I haven't got enough vocabulary words for how stunning the, the sort of the valley bottom is and you've got these jagged mountains with the sun shining. It's absolutely beautiful. day we just got back that was probably up where one of the best days riding i've ever done the roads were incredible the weather the scenery the company the organizer yeah it was absolutely amazing time to get the kid off and go get some food but new zealand that was amazing let's give it a pause there because the video is getting a little bit long go and get yourself a drink have a break and stay tuned for the next part in the New Zealand series hopefully you're enjoying some of the things that I'm showing you recommending that you see if you come to New Zealand particularly if you're on a motorcycle it's a pretty wonderful country let me know any questions in the comments I'm Vanessa Ruck we're going on a bike see you again